welcome to this video about Tuckles Home Quarry. So why are we starting the video here at Croxall Lakes Nature Reserve, a reserve that we've had some association with now for over 20 years at the Wildlife Trust? Well, it started off as a quarry, a bit like Tuckles Home. Um, it was extracted and it was designed for yachting. Behind us is the National Memorial Arboretum and you can see maybe in the background the, the workings of the quarry which would have extracted this site in the past. It's been a wonderful site for Staffordshire Wildlife Trust. We were lucky enough to buy it free of charge almost through the National Forest. But since then we've had an awful lot to do and the lake behind us has had all sorts of soil tipped into it to make it more interesting, to give it more levels and variety. And let's go and have a look at the riverbank where some of that soil came from for something really unique that happened here at Croxall Lake two or three years ago. The River Trent typically through so much of the valley from Litchfield to Burton is, is, is very much a, a drainage channel almost. Here at Croxall we've done so much work to make it so interesting for wildlife. The, the scenery behind me now is it looks almost like a lake but in fact it's still the River Trent. The river will flow either side of islands that we've created. It's been a wonderful piece of work and just a few minutes ago probably 50 teal were flushed from an area that they probably wouldn't have used at all. This has been a fantastic project for the Wildlife Trust and we've been so grateful to so many funders for their help. So we got the reserve for nothing but since then we've spent hundreds of thousands of pounds probably trying to make it into something that really is great for wildlife and great for people. With grant aid so much harder to get these days, wouldn't it be so fantastic to walk into a tailor-made nature reserve from day one? So let's have a look at Tuckles Home Quarry and the, and the prospects it could give us. Welcome to Tuckles Home, a nature reserve in the making. Extraction has been going for a few years now and restoration has started too. This temporary lagoon will become one of two massive reed beds, perhaps the largest in the Trent Valley that, that exist. The reed beds will be big enough to bring in all sorts of ex unexpected species to this part of Staffordshire. Bitterns are, are highly likely to use the reed beds in winter and who knows in the fullness of time they could even be added to Staffordshire's list of breeding birds. One of the benefits of getting involved in this site now is that we're able to talk to the operators, aggregate industries, about subtle changes on the ground as they're working it. It costs a lot of money for the trust to get diggers and earth movers and all those sorts of things in place. Aggregate industries have plant on site today. They can use that under our advice and guidance to make differences that they wouldn't perhaps always think of. We've put plans forward to them that will make an even better site than they would thinking of creating and they've agreed that that's something that they want to look at and create for us. This is potentially a national flagship site, something that's never been achieved before. Please help us to make a difference. Please help us by supporting our appeal.